another day in the junkyard. We're going to try to find a junkyard build that we can start building here on the channel. Um, we're going to look in the junkyard. We might go to some auctions. Um, in the junkyard, you know, my, my, I want to try to build it for the cheapest I can. So we're looking at 10 to 15,000. So first, I want to go and look at all the vehicles and then we'll look at some of the scrap piles. 7150. Okay. Missing two tires. All the interior. But yeah, I want to try to find a decent build for us. A little bit too much more than I want to spend on that kind of car. There's a little Volkswagen Jetta. Not Jetta, Golf. I'm going to say, sorry, I keep saying Jetta, but I mean Golf. Here's a Camaro. Okay, 10 3. Okay. Missing the front. The back, it looks like. Missing the door on the driver's side. Okay. Ooh, here's a Corvette. Is it a rolling Corvette? All four tires are here. Hmm, 20,000. Definitely not going for that. to spend some money we may have to go above our limit 12 oh what's in our limit 10 to 15 okay okay how's that corvette 20 that's 15 that might be our vehicle for our shop build how much is this corvette Definitely not. Ooh, Mustang Fastback. Okay, 11. This is like one of the busiest junkyards I've seen. Oh, a Lincoln. That's even better too and lower on our thing, but we, I think we have to go with the Cobra. I mean, I don't know. Last time I went to a junkyard and it was been this pack, packed vehicles. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get this uh we're gonna have to get this vehicle for the shop. Alright, I think this I think this is gonna do it. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to buy the car. Yeah, thirteen thousand. Let's park the thing at the garage. Alright. I just did a bad thing and I didn't even look to see what parts it was missing because I was just so excited. Here she is. The Cobra. I didn't look to see what kind of engine she has. I was just so excited and she doesn't have any. Except for a block. We have this door. We're missing a lot of stuff. But actually let's um let's take it to the car wash. Give it a little 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 detail first and then a little interior detail just to see what we're working with. Lost of rust. This is definitely gonna have to be a multiple, multiple, multiple car build. While we have that in here, let's just look to see if we got any good orders coming through. Ooh, another. I love the Evo builds. Bring some fast cash. Oh, 
Let's um, let's just take this order, just in case. We'll just um, yeah, we'll just leave this thing parked out here. But let's go back into the uh, the car that we care about the most. Just another quick, quick, quick thing. Okay. I'm not sure what all we can fix and not fix on this vehicle. So I'm gonna take off parts that I can. We'll get the welder out. Let's see if we can do some work. Just by doing that alone has uh has already turned the car around. Let's look at our uh We're gonna put all of that on our shopping list already. Let's go to assemble mode and we can just do gonna add some stuff here all right let's let's do a little shopping real quick I think that was pretty much it for that Should we do some like funky stuff or should we do some like regular regular stuff so you know we could do some regular stuff too but you know i kind of want to do some funky stuff i think let's get that off of there Let's go into the body tuning section and get what we can in here. So we're going to need that this. That. I'm not sure if we can install all this or not, but let's see. Why is that tail light? Are they different? reason it won't let me install that I'm not really sure why the tail lights look different. It's kind of bothering me. I don't don't know.
All right, going a little crazy here. I'm trying to trying to do too many things at one time. I'm trying to get in a little hurry, but slow it down. You know, do the right stuff. scrap all this to get some more scrap pieces we're just missing some license plates let's uh let's take a look at the license plate license plate do we want A good old Tennessee plate, you know? Why not? Because this car is the only 10 I see. Did you get it? 10 I see? <laughs> Such a good dad joke. All right. So far, it's already looking good. Let's uh, get it up here and see what else we can figure out. down to the knuckles and then we'll go from there. knuckles off because they're pretty easy. We might see if we can salvage some of these wheels. I don't know. I kind of want to go all the way in on this build and like just do it everything the right way. Now, I'm not going to level it out, but I want to make it nice, runnable, drivable. So whoever buys it from us um yeah that's kind of my thought process on this build front knuckles off too.
I think this is like gonna be like more like a disassembling uh video of of our of our uh junkyard build. But I think I think that's what we need to do. We need to disassemble it and just see what we can keep and what we can't. Um oh yeah, let's just keep disassembling the build and it would just be the chassis I mean, it would just be the chassis and the body and everything else will be uh taken apart. We're getting there. We're just gonna have just a body. Yeah, that's all we uh, have, or all we're gonna have. Just gonna go ahead and disassemble everything. I think that's just the best route of our first junkyard build is to just take everything off. I mean, we're basically missing everything, so this build will be probably a couple different uh, days worth of work but in between we'll work on some some customers customers projects to uh you know keep the money flow because we gotta have money for the build so without the money we have no build and this car might be one that we keep for the shop might be the actual true first shop car all these pistons are burnt Could have taken this out, but we we're already right here, and the car is almost completely gutted. We installed that frame, which is kind of cool to see that they actually did that. I like how they put the frame there just for the body. Once you remove everything, that's that's pretty realistic. All right. Disassembled except for the interior. Um, so I had to bring the car outside because there's no tires, so I can open the door and remove some of the interior.
that was a bit of a headache for me. I uh, never had to do that yet. So it's my first time ever actually removing interior of a vehicle. So yeah, did all that. Let's just take a look at our inventory. You can see here, like nothing is reusable. We just need to get rid of everything. And I think that's what we're going to do. So I know that wasn't a very interesting build because the build is not done yet, but you guys can see right here. We have the, the Cobra up on the jack and we're going to get back to it here soon and start building it. But at least the bodies, all the panels are there. We just need to do a nice paint job um, and then start assembling the chassis and we'll go from there um, here later on. Our, and we're going to do this as well. I, I'm not sure if I'll show that here in the channel. But we're going to do this car next to get some more cash flow and some experience and hopefully level up to level 21, 22, 23. Somewhere in there. We're trying to get leveled up as quick as we can because that's part of the game. But I appreciate you guys for stopping in and checking out what's going to be our new shop build. This is one fantastic looking vehicle already. Um, and all thing we've done is just fix some body panels and disassembled it. So again, I appreciate you guys. And I can't wait to see you guys next time.